The focus today has been on how much MPs earn, not in here but outside in second jobs. And the answer is a lot. £7.4 million in the latest register of members' financial interests. Most of it, £6.8 million, totted up by Conservatives. With one, even working as a lawyer, from here. Sir Geoffrey Cox reportedly cast his parliamentary votes by proxy from the British Virgin Islands, while advising on a corruption inquiry, during which he said... Uh, th those I represent, I think, accept entirely that it is central to the democratic idea that the purpose of elected office is to serve the public. Um, it is not to enrich the office holder. And yet the office that Sir Geoffrey used out there is almost 4,000 miles away from his office here in Tavistock, Devon, where his constituents weren't so sure about their MP earning more than £900,000 as a lawyer. I think it's absolutely outrageous to have two jobs. Devon needs our politician, our MP, back here in Devon now. I'm a little upset about it because I, we never see him here. I don't see a problem with MPs having a second job. A million pounds a year, well, lots of people do earn a million pounds a year, don't they? Actually, no. On just their basic salary of almost £82,000, MPs are firmly in the top 5% of earners. We're talking about their top-up pay because Owen Paterson was found to have broken lobbying rules. When the Prime Minister tried to overhaul the entire system in a way that would let his colleague off the hook, the backlash began. Boris Johnson said he couldn't make an emergency debate despite photographs suggesting he was back in London in time for some of it. On MPs' pay, the Justice Secretary said voters would decide. The rules on accepting uh, outside roles and uh, outside earnings are very clear. You need to transparently declare them uh, under the Register of Financial Interests for members of the House of Commons. And ultimately the accountability, the ultimate accountability in democracy, uh, comes at the ballot box. Which is why Labour is wading in. This corruption scandal that's getting deeper and deeper in the Conservative Party, we're seeing more and more instances of behaviour that most people would view as beyond the pale and a Conservative Prime Minister who is refusing to take action. I'm told the Conservative Chief Whip had words with Sir Geoffrey Cox today. So the Prime Minister clearly not happy about this. His official spokesman said today that while they don't endorse a blanket ban on second jobs, an MP's primary role must be to serve their constituents. A tougher stance today, but a wobbly week for the Tories that many backbenchers think the PM is responsible for. Anoush Gristana, News at 10.